What are you doing up there? Come down here. <laughs> Good land of plenty. Right, what are we doing today? Just setting out, okay, for a little extension. Um, the extension's timber framed, so all I'm doing is three quarts of blues on the outside, air bricks in to ventilate the floor. Inside, a skin of concrete blocks, 100 mils. So what the extension does, it comes out from the house, it comes along the front here, and then goes right the way down to the garage door, sits back a recess of 100 mil, and just goes across. So a nice little job, both my boys with me, as per usual. Uh, took this one on, because they're gonna get a bit of time on the trail today, on the block, so we're gonna film them today, down a few blocks and show what it's all about. So, uh, let's get going. The good thing about this, a lot of this timber frame's already made, you know, and I always strongly suggest, do the brickwork, get a second survey. So, this is being made on site, this timber frame. So, the uh, chippies are coming on and making it on site. So, if there is a, a variation of like 10, 20 mil, I'm not gonna get no phone calls saying, oh, this is out, blah, blah. So, we'll go as close as we can. Um, because the timber's being made up on site, which also helps me. Now, what we've got here is a goblet, so we're going to start, we're going to come off this post as the line sear into there, and then we're going to square up from the rest. So, let's get this line up. Always use a line when you can, okay? Said so to the boy the other day, he's done a lot of freehand work, been copying me, but with freehand experience, okay? But Wherever you can, always get a line up. Right. right, so what I've done is I've squared off the post, okay, put a line through. I've gone off this house, uh, this extension next door. So if you look here, we've got 310, okay? And then further along the line, you've got 310, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is, Plumb that mark now. Three. So we're going to plumb her in. So I'm not there. Do the same this end. Yeah. The traditional one. Yep. So that gives us our outside line, okay? So we're nice and square. Now we're gonna come off three meters from the existing house, okay? So Sammy boy, if you hold the tape on here for me, please. Just at the bottom there. On that plinth, on the plinth. Down the bottom. Yep. So we're three meters. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so what I'll do now is set up my first course runner in, do me three, four, five on this corner, and then we'll get the line down and hit the flank. Let's get done. Good, so we just put our setting out marks. I've just gazed it out. Okay, as we know, three meters doesn't work, brick works. So we're gonna take to the nearest so because of engineering, they're quite a consistent brick, so I'm gonna do tight joints and do 13 and a half down this flank, okay? So we'll start with a stretcher, finish with a header. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
nice decision. Advise the client, he's got a grey grey frame. So I advise the client to go blue engineering and um, black mortar. Looks the part. Bit better, bit modern, traditional. Right. Let's go a nice tight joints through it. Let's set her up. Always take your time setting out. Honestly, all this rushing, no point. I booked this for the day, so we should have a nice crusty day today. Nice and relaxed. Excellent. Good. Keep it nice and clean. I'm gonna show you another quick way, just to square up the corner, make sure she's square, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside measurement, 300, get her to the brick, 300 there. Another inside measurement, 400 there. So 300 from inside to there, 400 from inside to there. Now at this point, from this brick to that brick should be five. So can I have a look, Dino? Right, so we're five mil out, okay? So something's wrong, something's not square, okay? So this end here is flanking out. So let's get the level on up. Let's be sure. Yeah, that is it down. Let's be sure this one. Nice and square. So now if we double take this. Spot on. 500. Okay. Just a little tip if you haven't got your square with you. Three, four, five. Always some internal. Good. Good. Okay. So what I've done is I've now transferred the three meter mark from the house to here. Checking the squareness of the house. It's not too bad. It's all right. So obviously we're going right the way through. Now, a little tip for you. Obviously there's nothing here. So we need to transfer the three metre mark from the house to there, okay? What we normally do is put a line up through the line of the house and mark it on the fence and then measure out after. But a good tip would be this. Scribe your mark. We know that's three metres, that's checked and double checked. So Sammy boy, pull the line to the mark. Good. So we know that's on the mark there, okay? So if I just come down here and scribe the mark there. Let's put that line up. Good. So now we know that that is a complete square line, okay? Now, just to show you, I'm going to double check it off the ass to just prove a point. But it's just a quick way of doing it. Get your line marks all out. Put your line straight. Make sure it hits all the lines of centers. Just the same, the same job as what a laser would do. Good. So what I've done is we square the line from the house to the outside, which is you come here, which is this mark here. Hold on, Sam. This is live, by the way. So Sam puts his mark on the first square line from the front of the extension. That should measure three meters to this mark here. So let's have a look. Come have a look, because it's live and we've not done this before. Now, hey, hey, into the corner. Into the corner. Remember what I taught you? Right, now go down. Into the corner. Right. She's bang on. Couple of mil. Good. So, knowledge is power, guys. Sometimes you don't need all the lasers and stuff like that. Just use your brain, okay? Work with what you've got, okay? And it's sometimes I like to do it because it's challenging. It's better. So we're square out. We're square, square. So now, that should be to the drawing. Go down there for me, please. Right to the end of the wall. This flank needs to be 8 metres and 20 Okay, which we've got there, eight meters plus your 20 mil there. 
So now we need to work out the gauge. So uh, what we got there? Come on, Dino, work it out. Right, four, three, four. Eight meters and twenty brickwork gauge. Come on, guys, work it out for me. Four to nine hundred, eight ninety, nine hundred. Blah 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 blah. I'll make it 36, 30, 35 and a half. Check the tape. Hold it there. 35, 36 doesn't work brickwork, so about 35 and a half. So where are we? 34, 35, and all oh, Dino. <laughs> so if I open up 20, 30 mil over all them joints, we've got the half. 35 and a half, always know you're gauging. Improvers coming through. In your head, bum, 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 bum. Good. Right, so let's get this course down. Good, yeah, so just gonna put a tingle in. Oh, great, because she's a bit of a pulp. So, we'll get a nice tingle just to keep all levels in line. What we do, we'll have a look at her. I've had to open that so I've nicked a bit here. So we use it as a dead man. Always like a tight line. Let's see what I've got on me top here. Mars user redden. Here we go. Oh. Beautiful. Scaffold clamps. Good old traditional 50.
Thing. She's a bit wet again. She's a bit wet. Let me. Yeah, spend some loads of time waiting for this to go off, pointing up. Mistakes are only mistakes, son, if you don't learn from it. It's really wet. Slippery little imp, open perp there. Well, I was trying to tighten her there. Chasing it off up your old mum's. Your old boots sitting there doing nothing, huh? Well done, stop turning, sir. Oh, dip up. Change it up there. Sam, you've got to learn this muck, lad. I can't keep having it, boy. That's a second gauge. One, it's slowing me down. Two, it's going to be unpointable. Too late at the day. And I don't know what you want me to do about that because I've got to go work again tonight. Listen, you need to start learning. Observing is learning, son. 
you want to crack on in this game, boy. Because if you work yourself, so I'll try to muck at the back of your head. So here we are in the jungle now, and we're going to watch the little ones now try and leave the nest and catch their prey. Now, looking slowly, look how much enthusiasm bursts from their young ends as they look to follow in father's footsteps. that line alone son you're trying to send a message what's your name bugsby huh bugsy Don't sending that really line funny. tell you what is funny your girlfriend and your mother <laughs> told you i'm fat didn't i every time i go and see your mum she gives me a cookie you know what i'm like i love me cookies Take your time. Take your time. Right, there's hard persuasion in them blocks. You use a club hammer if you have to, or the back end of your hand of your trowel. current situation. Boys have backed it up. Front's all set out. Let's have a little look. Got a bombs in it in here. Back everywhere. So she's all set out, front's all pulled in. We're just returning it to go round the side of the garage to take the floor joists and across the front of the garage. And there she is. So there she is. Sides in, air bricks are all in. All on the side, the boys are backed up. Now we're just gonna go through the side of the garage with a single concrete, because that takes a floor joist, and then we go double skin again along the front of the garage door there, okay? So they're using the existing wall there as part of the uh, cavity work, I'll take it.
so it is one o'clock and we're having a cup of tea. Uh, 30 bricks short and 15 blocks. We measured up for 13 linen meters. Okay, um, turned up and there's an extra nine linen meters. So I said to him, no, you've, we've priced for the, the, the 13. I've given the gear for the 13. He's like, oh, well, I'll send one delivery drivers out to bring the gear in. And I knew this would happen. We'd be up waiting for the gear. So what we've done is we've completely handed over the front. I've pointed it. We've cleaned it, brushed it, cleaned the cavity, squeaky clean. Going to roll the damp out for them. Um, so literally I've just got, like I said, another eight, nine metres to do. Um... And then we'll be finished now. The problem is pricing. I gave him a price of 13. So now I've got to hit him with another nine meters now. He's already said, oh, I thought you'd take two days. I said, no, we'll get it done in one, you know? So we'll have a chat in a little while. So he's up the day. So if I hit him for a few extra quid, he shouldn't mind. You know, he's, uh, like I say, he's expecting two days work, so. Um, but a price is a price. And an extra is an extra. Now the boy's getting on. Full of enthusiasm, as you can see. <laughs> oh, took a picture. <laughs> Too many late nights. Said to him, learn. You know, learn from your own lessons. You want to you wanna go out and do what you want to do, learn. You know, you've got to work. I'm not here to compensate for you, you know, the next day. Why should I work harder? You know, it's all part of life. So instead of me saying to them, look, you've got to be in at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock. They've got to learn, you know, as all we did. You know, we all done it, been there. I remember going to work all day, going out all night and getting going straight to work the next day. And like I say, you learn a lesson from that. So we're going to have a cup of tea and we're going to chill. I say a cup of tea, but there's not much to have. So I'm going to have my protein shake 53 grams of protein 50 grams of carbs good to have put the old calories up this one's got quite a bit of sugar in it as well um, a lot of bodybuilders don't like taking this one because of the sugar but a lot of bodybuilders don't lay the amount of bricks that we lay so this sugar helps replace and the fat and it helps replace all the fatty acids and the um the calories on it oh god Oh, my back's up as I get older. Oh, just washing across the road, you know. There's a, a roofing pot on and two suits are up there. And um, obviously the job's been done, I'm waiting to be passed off. And I'm watching them, one of them's on his knees, scrutinising the work. He's just got down. I used to be blood ball. Because they look for any little thing, any little snag. You know, I know they've got to be, do their jobs because obviously they're playing out. Insurance isn't that, but inspection rate on brickwork alone is, I think it's 3.8 metres, is it, or 3.2? So what that means is when you look at it, brickwork, you can't stand 500 mil away from it. It's got to be 3.2 inspection rate. See what you can see with the eye. So I should imagine the roof has got to be similar, but they was like on their hands and knees taking pictures and that, and I think. Some poor sod is probably going to get a call later to come back and repair some minor stuff, you know. But the way of the world, what seems to happen now is a check's dropped from the top of the top prices. As it floats down, you've got all these people with irrelevant jobs taking their bit out of the money. And by the time it falls down to the tradesmen, it's, it's um, not where it should be, you know. But um, it, is the, it is what it is. Let's have a look at him, the Toby. Look at him. Let me drive his car properly. And he's gone. Let's bog him out. Lurcher. <laughs> right, let's have something to eat. See you in a minute.
good, so job done. She's all nice and square. So we started at the far side, pulled it in, brick and block, brick and block right the way through. Brick and block down to here. Then single block, because they're going to use this existing. Single block right the way through to here. And then jump out here. And you can see what I've done here. Brick skin in, all your air vents in, flow. So their second survey is timber. Uh, I think was today, Thursday, Monday, I think, or Friday or Monday. So come with me. It's originally priced for 13 meters, which included that flank, the front, and the flank up to here. So this is extra here. So I'm gonna hit him with a little bit more. It'd be interesting conversation. Um, but I'm fair, you know, because um, we've done it in a day, we've smashed it out. It's all nice and clean. So um, I let him with it and we'll, and we'll see how we get on there. Come around here, look at this. Who works like this? So he's asked me to give a price to do the patio. Now, on these single extensions, okay, I worked with an architect about 18 months, two months, two years ago. Fantastic idea. When you come out square, right, so if you stay there, bring the patio line out to here, yeah? Then put a border down or a step, okay? And then extend another patio out to here, right? Then, on the sides, do two block work walls, either paint them white and add mirror features in. Now what that does is give you an extension of the room. So when you're looking at the bifolds, the three meter extension then looks 12 meters because it looks all as one. So when the bifold doors, the bifold doors open up, you've all got one. If you keep your line sharp and symmetrical, very modern, it looks unbelievable. Now they've got the garden space, they can go another Eight, nine metres out on the patio and still have a big garden. Now, honestly, we done a job and I was a bit, I don't know. But once we built the block work walls, rendered them, put mirror features in, kept it sharp. Even the plantation was very sharp and odd pot wasn't loads. And when standing in here and looking at it, it looked like an extension of the extension. So all one big room and the light reflected off the mirrors and in. It looked unbelievable. And what it does, it makes a small extension look even bigger. So another idea for you guys, if you're pricing or giving suggestions over to clients for extensions, another one to think about, a bit like the uh, garage conversion that we've done. Always throw the ideas in, you know, um, and the client likes to hear that from you. So listen, thanks for watching, drop a comment. It's little bit zero nil on this job, very small job, but another variation for the channel, another different job, not just house bashing. Uh, drop the comments in, hit the subscribe button guys, listen, God bless, good health, you've been traditional.